Okay, so welcome back to the second video then on systems and equations. And of course, this is the plug and check series. You can see at the top. And what's this problem today? Well, this problem here is uh, systems and equations, right? So you have the system and equations. Essentially, it reads like, essentially reads uh, x1 plus x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 5, x2, x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 8, right? You guys get it. And so, and you have the system equations, and the question asks you to find then find all solutions such that x3 times x4 is equal to 0, okay? And again, this was on a midterm, I think from 2015. One of my, one uh, the professor that I taught TA to 240 with, uh, he had this on his midterm in 2015, not when I TA'd, but this is a good problem. So, okay, so how do we solve these problems? Well, with any system of equations problems, we're going to put them into an augmented matrix and then we're going to row reduce. So, okay, so let's do that then. So we get 1, eh, 1, 0, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, okay, and then here's 5, 8, 3, 6. All right, so here's our augmented matrix. How are we going to row reduce? I'm going to actually take this row and subtract out two times the third row, and then I'm going to take uh, the last row and we subtract out two times the third or third row. And so, what do I get then? You get one zero one two five. Okay, and then you get two minus two, so you get zero. One minus zero is one. Three minus zero is three. Two minus two is two. Uh, two minus two is zero. Ugh. And then eight minus uh, six is two. All right, and then one zero zero one, and then you get zero and one two negative one. Oops, and then there's a three there, and then a zero here. Okay. So, what do we do now? Uh, I guess just keep reducing. Actually, let's do this. I'm gonna do. We're gonna take this top row and I'm subtract out this bottom row, and so. That gets me then 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, negative 1. And then that gets me 2, 2, 0, uh, 2, 2, 3, and 0. Okay. And what now? Well, you'll realize that this row right here is actually just row two minus row one, okay? And so I'm gonna then, because this last row is just a linear combination of another two, like two of the other rows, we can just zero it out. So the last row ends up just being zeros, okay? And so now we only have row one, row two, and row three that we have to deal with. And I'm actually just gonna then flip row one and row three. So now we have one, zero, zero, one, three, and then zero, one, three, zero, two, and then zero, zero, one, one, two. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so we have this in row echelon form, right, with the pivots all being leading ones. And so now how do we solve this? Well, we need x4. Well, we back solve, right? And so how do we back solve? Well, we'll let x4 equal t, right? It needs to be a free variable because there's nothing here. There's no pivot here. Uh, we don't, we have a free variable column, right? So this is a pivot, 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 free. So this tells us that x4 is free. Let x4 be t. That means then I have from row 3, I'll have x3 plus x4 is equal to 2 but x4 is t, so I get x3 is equal to 2 minus t, okay? From this row, row 2 then, I have x2 is equal to 2 minus 3x3, well, that's 2 minus 3 times 2 minus t, and so that will actually be 3t plus, uh, 3t minus 4, Okay, so x2 is equal to 3t minus 4. And then from the top row, I have x1 is equal to 3 minus t, uh, or 3 minus x4. You substitute in x4 equals t. Okay, so what does it look like? It looks like this, right? I have 
3 minus t, uh, 3t minus 4, 2 minus t, and t. And that's what my solution, this is what my solutions are going to look like. 3t minus 4. So this is what my solutions look like. And remember, the question is asking, and then find all solutions such that x3 times x4 is 0. So how can we get that? Well, we can have x3 be 0, or we can have x4 be 0. So there's two cases that we need to consider. Um, the first case then is case one where x3 is equal to zero. Okay, and so how does x3 equal to zero? Then uh, t is equal to two, and then our solution then x would be one, two times three, six minus four is two, zero, two, right? So that's my first case, and then my second case then has to be when x4 is equal to zero, which then means that t is equal to zero. And so that means x is going to be 3, negative 4, 2, 0, right? And then so these are going to be my only two solutions such that this is this condition satisfied. Otherwise, I mean, how do you other, how, how else do you satisfy that being 0? They both can't be 0 at the same time, right? Because of how what our solution looks like, what x looks like here. So you have this guy and this guy as our solutions. I mean, plug them in for good measure. It works, and so those are two solutions. And so this is how you solve this kind of system of equations problem, where there's a slight twist on the conditions and the solutions. Again, these are still pretty straightforward, and so.